<laughs> Howdy, y'all. Hello, Cinternet. Today we are going to be making food while we drink. No, I'm sorry. We're going to be making a. Really? We're going to be making dry rub chicken wings. And uh, here's my secret recipe. Here's all the junk that goes in it. All right. So we're gonna be making uh, I don't know what about about six uh, whole whole wings. So I'm just trying to get like a little dry rub going on here. Uh, so right here's a tablespoon of paprika. Got that table one tablespoon of paprika. Maybe I should have shut uh, the light over here. Teaspoon of chili powder. All right, that was a teaspoon of chili powder. All right, here's a teaspoon of ground cumin, cumin, however you say it. I don't know how to say it. I just know it, it tastes good in it. Then uh, we got a teaspoon of garlic powder. We got a teaspoon of onion powder. We got a teaspoon of ground pepper. Or black pepper, whatever you want to say. Or dirty. And I got a half a teaspoon of up. salt. Alright, that's going to be the ingredients for our dry rub. So we're just going to mixy, mix, mixy. Mix these up real good. And then we'll be tossing the chicken in this. Then uh, we're going to be grilling, grilling the chicken. Dry rub chicken wings. And we will be back in just a second after we get this mixed up. Okay, here we go. So, here's the uh, chicken wings. Like I said, I'm cooking six of them. Come Let's on. see what you're doing. And we're going to cut the, the tips off, the, the wing tips, because, you know, that's just garbage. Stand in one place to do it. Then it goes in the bowl. Yeah. Cut the we're cutting part the, that really has we're no cutting meat. The, the tips off, you know. That part has no meat. We we don't need that. And part. those are just cheap kitchen scissors. I mean, you could probably pick them up for like a couple bucks at the well, grocery they store. They came with a knife set. These did. So. Right, but I'm just I try to make it to where people can have things. You know, I try not to make it so extravagant. You have to go out and spend like forty dollars on utensils to make things. To make this not too long. I mean, you get the idea. We're Cutting the tips We're off. Cutting the tips off. The non meaty part. Alright, next off, I'm gonna throw a little lime juice on uh, these chickens. Just a little kinda, squirt, just to get them a little wet. Yeah, get them a little wet, give them a little lime flavor. You don't want to over, overpower it now. Um, you flip them all over. Give them another little drizzle. You know, you can get fresh lime too. and and squeeze it over it but if you watch one of our other videos where we were drinking you know why we got that lime yeah and, you know it's just so you ain't always got to have some fresh lime on hand you know you just pull this out and it, basically it does the job like i said i was just don't overdo it just throw a little bit on there and kind of toss it around and give it a little lime flavor there Maybe, maybe just a little bit more. Hmm. See, I don't want to overdo it, overpower it, but I want the flavor to be there. Ew, now I gotta wash that lime because he touched it after he done touched the chicken. Alright, now I'm smelling lime, so that should be good. Here's the mixture we made at the beginning. Going Here's in the dry the, rub. Going in the pan with the chicken. So we're gonna. Put this on the chicken. Throw this around. And once I get it good and coated, you know, I might not use all that. Heck, I might throw it somewhere and use it again some other time. Get a pretty good coating on them, you know. 
We're going to be grilling these out. So we want them to have lots of flavor. Get it everywhere. Got other stuff cooking in the background there. What do you think we're, think we're getting colder good enough? Yeah. I don't want to overpower it either and make it to where you can't hardly heat it. Rub it in there. Make sure we're getting all these good and cooked. Another way you could do this is you could put your chicken in like a plastic Ziploc bag and dump the seasoning. You know, just what you feel is good because I mean, look how much we got left into the bag. You can do it gradually as you mix it in with the plastic bag, the plastic Ziploc bag, until you feel that it's coated good enough. This is just how we're doing it today. Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know, like to make sure I'm a, each piece has plenty of flavor, you know. My, my dry rub here. It's looking pretty good. It looks pretty well coated. Quality control right here. Good old dry rub. Yeah, see, see, they're all pretty, getting pretty good and coated. A little more on this side. I think we're about there. What do you think? Yeah. Looking pretty well coated. Yep. All them cracks and crevices got a little piece in there. Oh yeah. Everybody got lots, lots of flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right there because they look all pretty good and coated. I don't like I said I don't want to overdo it. And there's what they look like after they've been rubbed and mixed together. And we're out to the grill. Now we're out here to the grill to finish up these uh, dry rub by uh, chicken wings. Um, you want to get temperatures up to around 325, 350 or whatever. You want to get an internal temperature on the, the wings to 190. Make sure they're good and cooked, you know, or higher. Uh, Does your wings need to sit and marinate or anything? Or they just no, they're rub good. them and... Throw them on the grill, Rub right? Them, throw them on the grill. All right. Just got to clarify. All right. So we got the grill preheated. Um, I don't have I don't have temperature on my grill. I just set it at I don't know, around around a medium, medium to high heat. And we're gonna cook these for 20 minutes per side up here on this uh, top rack here. All right, so here we go. 20 minutes per side here on top rack. Oh, look at that. Time to flip them. Let's see how they're looking. I might need to turn the tent down a little bit. Like I said, I don't have a thermometer for my grill. Ah, uh, this one's wanting to stick. You might want to spray a little bit of non-stick on there. That's the only one that's stuck, though. Oh, there we go. Saved it. Alright. 20 minutes on that side. If uh, your chicken don't quite look grilled, you can put it down here for a few minutes. But Ours looks, looks very a little, grilled. A little overcooked. Uh, but we don't have one of those fancy thermostat things. It's a thermometer. A thermometer. Thing, yeah. Um, so yeah, these, these are definitely done. I'm not even going to put them down, but if they don't look quite done, you can come down here for two or three minutes to give them a grilled look. Ours are good. There it is. That's your finished product. Dry rub wings. Let's eat these puppies. Let's go, let's go eat them and see how they are. So what do you think about the chicken? Is it any good? I think it's pretty good. Mm. Is good. this... I'm going to take a bite of this. But this is pretty good. You need to check it out. 
I will link below what you need in the um, description below. But that is what we have for you today. Like I always say, show me some love. Like, comment, subscribe, become part of the crowd. Check that box below to see all the other places I am on the internet. And we will catch you later. Later.